With a little more than two weeks before Election Day, the Washington Examiner went and spoke to Portland business owners who are reeling from out of control crime and homelessness. I basically pull up here every morning and sort of hold my breath, um, hoping that no one's destroyed my porch and or broken into my business. Amanda Horn is like many Portland business owners who have struggled with the consequences of crime. It'd be a lot easier to make a list of who hasn't been broken into than who has. It'd be a much shorter list. <laughs> Bison Coffee House was hit by vandals after its owner Loretta advertised a community event with police officers. I got a call that all my windows were busted out and that they sprayed paint throughout my whole shop. And so I hurried up and rushed over here to see all my windows. They were still falling and cracking. Gerald McAleese, the owner of Kell's Irish Pub, said homelessness has completely changed the neighborhood since he first opened his pub and restaurant back in 1990. It's been <laughs> catastrophic. Just sim one simple word. Between the summer riots and COVID, McAleese has been forced to shut down six times. He's gone from one of the busiest restaurants to a half-open bar and employing 62 people to now just 12. The struggle has caused some Portland entrepreneurs, like many Oregonians, to reconsider their vote in the midterms. I think people want to see a change. I think it definitely will play a factor in, in voting. Well, I think a lot of people are ready for change, and they feel that people have not listened to them or stood up for them. Um, there's a lot of people don't feel safe right now. I think the city's trying to do their best, but it's been two and a half years. In the governor's race, Many Oregon voters are considering alternatives to Democrat Tina Kotex. Those include Republican Christine Drazen and Independent Betsy Johnson. I mean, I know Betsy has, they show her polls are low, but I think a lot of people are looking at her. And I think uh, Christine Drazen, people are really looking at her. I think that Tina's low on the polls, but that's just my opinion and listening to people. I know there are a lot of a lot of loyal people that are wanting Tina Kotek, and then there's a lot of people that are not wanting her in because of her current seat and things just haven't changed. And so I think it's kind of a gamble, honestly, at this point. Well, I don't know who's going to win, but I, I hope it's someone who's going to be in charge of directing the right way for Portland to go for the future. And in our conversations with Oregonians from across the state, we heard that in November, they're looking for anything but the status quo. For Washington Examiner, I'm Amy Delora.